Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising weekly tarot reading May 27th to June 2nd, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second guys uh, to um, shuffle the cards and uh, we can jump straight away into the spread. All right, so uh, the first card which represents the topic for Sagittarius for this week, that will be uh, the King of Swords. Followed by the second card here, which stands for the challenges the two Sagittarius uh, will have to overcome for throughout the week, that is going to be the Seven of Cups. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspect of the week for you, that will be the Sun card. And lastly, uh, we have a Guidance card here, which is to be the Tree of Pentacles. So once again, uh, King of Swords stands for the um, topic of the week, followed by the Seven of Cups, which stands for the challenge. Uh, afterwards, we do have the Sun standing for positive aspect. And lastly, that will be the Tree of Pentacles, which stands for guidance. All right. So uh, Sagittarius, is, it looks like that uh, this particular week, a, I, the way I see it, it's a very good offer is going to come into your way or a cooperation with big, um, op not opportunity, but potential for a, uh, a growth and benefits as well. Now, the only problem that you are going to have is uh, to believe that that is actually can happen because maybe the pe the person who is to approach you with it, uh, it may seem a bit winded. It's kind of like they, they don't really mean it. All right. So uh, the topic itself, it has to do with this guy here. It could be as well a woman. Well-respected and very professional person that is the King of Swords, uh, someone with a very sharp mind. And whatever that person does, it always it is always effective. And as this is your topic, it means that you together are going to execute something very, very effectively. Project at work, you know, endeavor into your social circle, something into your relationship, because that could be, for example, your husband or your wife, etc., etc. But the thing is that with co cooperating yourself with this person here, King of Swords, and um, what what main contribution of that person is, is that they're going to help you analyze your situation. And through this analysis and traversing your actions into a very effective ones, uh, the way out of difficulties is going to be presented to you or is going to be found. And the Four of Swords is a accompanied card. The formation here is in active supporters. I would definitely are talking about deep deliberation and analysis upon either your marriage, upon your career, and so on and so forth. Now, like I said, marriage, if you're going through the divorce, that will be the lawyer who is going to win your case, okay? That cooperation between you and this lawyer is going to win your case. Uh, if you are searching for a job, for example, through the cooperation of this person, you will find that job you need and so on and so forth. The, the point here, guys, is that you need to um, 
put trust into that guy or a girl or a woman, it doesn't matter, you know, because they really know what they are doing. They have been there before, it is what I'm trying to say. So the challenge here, as we said, Seven of Cups, it will be very difficult for you to believe that just the appearance, you know, of either this lawyer or a business advisor or simply a person can truly solve your problems. And uh, the Seven of Cups here points that, you know, you may uh, kind of like withdraw for a little bit from, uh, from this person or from the advice and the, the guidance and the help from this person. Uh, the Seven of uh, Cups, it does represent that uh, in your case here as a challenge is that any kind of, um, how can I display it, you know? Um, so I would try to explain it that way. So as this person comes around, you know, they present you with a solution, with a resolution. And that resolution goes far beyond your expectations, all right? So that is why you are finding it difficult to believe in it because it goes beyond your expectation. Let's say that you are leading a divorce case and you want from your wife or from your husband, let's say $50,000 as a compensation. But this lawyer tells you that you can go for 200,000, you know, and you say, well, you, you're talking bullshit, you know, I, I can't possibly go for that. But yes, you can. So, um, the layout that they're going to present you is uh, present to you is going to surpass your expectations and for that reason you may find it difficult to uh to believe in uh, in other words it's going to be way too good to be true according to your standards but you will have to um allow yourself you know that person to um how can i place it to do their part in uh, in your endeavor the Six of Cups is an accompanied card to the Seven of Cups here. Formation it is a passive supporters. <clears throat> so with the Six of Cups, I'd simply as it is, you know, you just allow this person, like I said, to do what they're supposed to do. Like, for example, if that is a business advisor, allow them to advise you and as well for you to follow their advice. If that's your lawyer, you know, allow them to just deal with the court case and do not basically do not uh, obstruct them in any way and mind your own business, just only where you are um, where you're classified to be, if, if that makes any uh, if that makes any sense. So, um, yeah, it's, um, it's more like, um, how can I place it? The heck thing wavering it is that you need to overcome here and you need to accept that sometimes you need to, um, you need to just allow someone else to take care of you or someone else to, um, to boost your growth. Because, for example, that could be as well, you know, your boss who um, approaches you and offers you a, a position far beyond your expectations and you're saying to yourself, wait a minute, it's that some sort of a trick, you know, I mean, am I capable to do so? Yes, you are. I mean, if they approached you with that, then yes, you are. That is because uh, the next card is the positive aspect and true following this person analysis, you know, and allowing them to traverse your actions into a very effective ones. It's, uh, the Sun card promises a, a tremendous, uh, not opportunity, but let's say fields of growth, um, youthful happiness if i may express myself that way monetary success right so the sun uh promises you an energies of growth in every field uh of your life depending on where this person is going to manifest so if it manifests into your relationship life then that is going to be a person who is going to make you happy right if it manifests your, itself into your career life then that is a person who will help you achieve better monetary success and so on and so forth and the best thing here is that by following his advice and his guidance his intelligence if i may express it that way <clears throat> you are to stabilize your situations and those situations will start unfolding themselves naturally slowly progressing natural unfoldment uh, the accompanied card here that will be the ten of uh, wands formation it is in an active supporters and if you um, felt until this very moment unfulfilled in a sense of that you can do so much, but you aren't doing anything, you know, or you lack activity and this kind of stuff, that will be no longer because after, you know, you follow, you cooperate with that woman or with that man, it doesn't matter, you know, the activities in your life are going to start basically spewing themselves in it. And... Uh, you are to find it difficult to um, 
catch up your not to catch up your breath, but to uh, find time, you know, to rest. Not that you are gonna need one, at least at the very initial stage, because it does look like with the sun and the ten of wands is that you are gonna be happy upon what you are working, either working over a relationship, your divorce, for example, you know, the custody of your children, or simply a a new project. And uh, the last one is going to be the guidance here from Tarot. That will be the Tree of uh, Pentacles. And this card points that the whole thing here that happens, this stepping out of that uh, person, it is with the pure intention to support you through your development, to point, to pick point you, excuse me, Sagittarius, is what you're doing wrong, how you have to correct yourself, and how you should proceed on forward. So instead of, um, you know, uh, leaning on your pride, it is best to try to aim to lead those fruitful conversations and do the cooperation needed with this King of Swords. The accompanied card that will be the Eight of Pentacles. And as soon as you start listening to what that person is to tell you, you will obtain that eye for the subtleties, you know, eye for the minor details here. And you will, and the the very best thing with these couple of cards as a guidance is that you can use the King of Swords to help you proceed forward with a thing that took so much long time to develop. So that could be the initiation of a uh, a big goal of yours that until this very moment you simply didn't have the opportunity to uh, solve. Uh, to uh, to stir, excuse me, yeah, and to solve. Now, one more thing I want to say with the appearance of the um, Eight of Pentacles is that you need to know that the King of Swords does not care how you feel. They don't care how you look like, all right? Only thing that they care about is the grand scheme of things. So, uh, he will be in use for you as long as you are in use for them as well, all right? So it will be very important to be cooperative and not insubordinate. As soon as you start being insubordinate, they will simply going to withdraw their support. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly tarot reading, May 27th to June 2nd, 2019. Um, I hope you liked it and you enjoyed it. And uh, we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.